Last RPG. That is how you win the game. So what is going on guys, it is Bontane, we are back today on Fortnite. This game is basically like Hunger Games and it's incredibly addicting, if you haven't played it you need to. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to win every, well most games and get like basically top 10 on this game out of 100 people that mostly do always spawn into the lobby. Before we even start the game, we're going to go into settings. By increasing sound effects onto like the max, it's usually onto 50, genuinely helps. I've done it ever since I've probably like played the first 5 games, skip until we get into the lobby. Now, basically, start off the game, you get the map if you press up on the d-pad and then you want to press R2 towards where we're going to go on the map. Map. and today we're going to be heading towards my lovely lovely spot which is the tunnel over here under this tunnel unbelievably you won't spot i didn't even know this myself there are two chests you want to make sure that you head off the bus kind of as soon as possible to you so you land down so we'll jump out now goose uh so you basically get down before any other player i mean it's kind of obvious but kind of not and if you do activate your parachute and you want to go down faster you want to make sure you go down to your side you'll go incredibly slow if you go uh straight down so you want to make sure as you, if you'll see in the leg tilts so we're gonna head towards that tunnel right north of us. Um, hopefully there isn't anybody that comes over here. Uh, obviously if this changes, you kind of want to go where the bus doesn't kind of overlap over, because then there's obviously less people that go over that kind of area. That's pretty much obvious, but if you want to kind of go sideways here, as you can see, that incredibly shoots us up incredibly fast over there. So we go sideways. And as you can see here, I swear if there's not chests here, we're gonna have to like restart something. But 100% is always chests in here. And there we go. I, I swear I didn't even hear the chest. I, I didn't even hear anything. I was going actually mad if I didn't get anything. But basically, we're stocked up now. So basically, we're set up right now. We've landed and pretty much. So as soon as you kind of get a gun, slowly want to get resources, as I can see. Uh, Goose also getting some right there. Brick is like the middle best, to, obviously, if you guys know and you play this game, in like the material to get. You want to get at least like 200 of whatever. So if, if you have 200, 200 to like end the game off, because that's when you'll be using this the most. It isn't quite advisable to build a fort because you kind of bait and you're just sitting there like a duck. We'll go into mine and Goose's tactic, which is basically sit in a bush because that's probably like the best natural place that's uh, not built and that won't give you position away as much. And as you can see here, since this tunnel place is probably the best place to always go, you've got two chests here. If you're heading as a duo, as you can see, me and Goose already have guns and stuff. I'm pretty much have set up loot. And it's in the middle of the map, practically. And we got lucky and it's literally here in the circle. So I think we should be all right, to be honest. We could head into this uh, tomorrow pizzeria or whatever it's called and uh, investigate into what's going on here. So yeah, we're pretty much set for the game. This is like a first off recording. So if we do well, then we do well. So, you know, first time recording, this isn't cut or anything. Well, it will be cut to the places where we want to make sure that there isn't help. Oh, we've got a chest here as well. If you get lucky and nobody comes over here, then that's good because some people, a ton of people are usually go here and stuff. By now, I didn't even realize that's half the lobby already gone. This circle does not close right on the middle. I mean, usually you kind of expect it to, but it won't end specifically in the middle. So if you sit there like a duck in the middle of the circle, sadly, it won't end there. Otherwise, that would be quite hectic. Another kind of like obvious tip is you want to make sure that you stay with your squad unless you're solo. And you see these bushes, these bushes I'm on about literally win the game. Crouching knees. See if you're walking past here, hopefully I don't die while showing this. Running past here, you will never ever see an enemy like just sitting like that. What I like to do is just not rush out. This isn't Call of Duty or any other game. We could just sit like here or anywhere. We could even sit in a bush. So essentially, if you want to make sure like that you actually win the game, try to get at least definitely 100% 10 at least we will get top 10 right now. Literally look at this. We moved. We could have been sat there in the tunnel. We got lucky once again out of the whole map. It's locked down and well, to be honest, it could lock in anywhere. It could lock in into Wailing Woods, it could lock in into Lonely Lodge, it could even lock into the shipment crates here. We don't know. Usually it does close down onto the most like town areas and stuff because then that, that's where like obviously most people being this game forces you to essentially just like go out and find other players. Are you getting shot? Yeah. Was that you? Bye me. Haha. <laughs> I actually hate you. <laughs> I actually thought I was like, that's the end of the video. I don't think I've ever played a game where we've not come across one person. And I say this out of like 200, 300 games I've played. I'm surprised we never come, came across anyone. It's like we're literally playing against like invisible people or something. We got an assault rifle. I got bandages too. Goose is also set. One thing we could have is a shotgun. I don't know if you have a shotgun, Goose, but yeah, I've got it would be yeah. 
semi-auto shotgun is kind of what I need to try to find when we kind of head out now. We could, but it's like, it's risky. I mean, we could make it exciting. This video is essentially just about trying to make sure that you win. And if you want to make sure you win, then this is the way to go if you really want to, but. And while we sit here in this bush, I'll go through a couple tips of mine to make sure you kind of dodge bullets and don't get shot, and don't die, quickly get kills and stuff, and that you get headshots, obviously then you'll put them down quicker, is to keep on jumping. You'll be surprised, it even helps even more than like any game where if you jump in this game, you're basically like Bugs Bunny, you dodge bullets and you can basically just turn on someone so badly, it's it's actually hilarious, I know what you can do. I'll show like uh, the game win where I kind of basically won solo for squad and I basically got a headshot, one shot, and basically this guy died, so yeah. Uh, this is is about to close in on us now and another thing is that you want to make sure you don't get caught by this purple wave here uh the amount of times me and you have died it, while in a squad and being set up with everything goose if you remember like and dying yeah. by the storm is like we've got no kills but it's not about that it's about winning scar h is obviously better than an the other two assault rifles. Sniper rifles, if you really want to go ahead and pick one up, it's not essential, I wouldn't say, in trying to win. Find a grenade launcher or an RPG. You find RPG bullets so much, I think I actually would have picked up RPG bullets. No, I didn't. Did you any, by the way? Yeah, I've got two. Because an RPG to find in this game, hardest thing ever, ever. Like, you will find RPG bullets in ammo boxes and everything. That's another thing. If I can show a clip of what ammo boxes look like, everyone misses them. You will see buildings that are completely looted, chests gone, every gun gone. But ammo boxes will still be there. People do not loot them as much. Another thing I want to mention, if you shoot down one person, they go down. That means obviously in a squad. Uh, if, if they immediately get eliminated, you either kill the whole team or they're by themselves. Make sure you do not kill any teammates. Wait until the team gets there first. You could just camp there and try and low-key kind of see if they revive them because eventually they will come most likely. This is another tip that I've realized. Fewer people that are in the lobby, the quicker the circle gets smaller. Sometimes you'll get hit by the storm so quickly because people die off so quickly. It's basically like an F1 race. If you watch F1, you basically, car, cars just crash immediately and it's pretty much like this in the game. People just, half the lobby's gone in a matter of seconds. I don't know if I should stick here or not. I think he might see me. This has never occurred before where I'm close to another person. <laughs> He's probably he's gonna get shot now, and I might get shot in the process as well. Uh, Goose, can you check on my six? Make sure that guy doesn't check yeah, on yeah, me. And sure. sitting in a bush just like that, as you can see, if we built a fort here, chances are they would have knocked on a door and literally just drop kicked it, and we would have been dead. So that's that's the joy of being in a bush. Number one tactic: stay in a bush, and you're pretty much guaranteed close to win. One thing also is to make sure you crouch so you aren't heard, because footsteps you'll hear them so easily in this game. So, um, jumping pretty much saved me. We could build a fort here, or I don't know. What do you want to look at that? It's too risky. Do you want me to throw a grenade? Can't do. He's just been shot by a grenade. Now. He's <laughs> shot down, by the way. He's killed. Yeah, yeah. He was shot down by someone else, though. Also, another thing is to make sure you put your pickaxe out, and then you won't loot any guns. You'll pick up ammo. Uh, I'm making a fort here. Just for now. Right. No. So yeah, um, have you got any RPG bullets? Because I got three of an RPG. Yeah. So I got um, I got really lucky here in picking this RPG up. You will never ever see an RPG. That's the last thing you'll ever pick up. Um, if you, I'm dropping the sniper because I, I definitely... Well, actually, no, I think I might need it, but I don't know. Let's see what this guy has. Oh, he has a shotgun. I might switch that out, actually. You might need to pick me up. I, <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know. I was low on health a lot, so I didn't realize. So yeah, we got nine people, so we've pretty much I've accomplished this video, to be honest, in an attempt to show <laughs> how to win a game. I'm gonna stay in the bush. I'm gonna just revive under here, by the way. Another tip is if you are under 25 health, or your friend is under 25 health, uh, kill them and then revive them again, so then you, they get up to 25 health when you uh, pick them up. Uh, oh. But I doubt you'll get the chance to do that. RPGs here. I might head into... Yeah, I'm gonna head into... I'm gonna have to bandage up, you know. I don't have enough health. Uh, one more time for me to med up and then I'll think I'll be good. Yeah, I think we'll be good here, definitely. I'll watch uh, West if you want to watch that entrance there. And I think we'll be good. I'm going to pop on my shotgun, actually. Wait, if I go in here... Oh my god. I think I'll be good here, you know? So if you watch my uh, right and I can watch your... Well, I can just watch here. Yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. Jesus. I definitely, I definitely should fire this RPG. Yeah, I'm bumping. Uh, yeah, um, chances are that's a team now. I'm gonna watch the north side. He's opening the door. That has to be a squad. That will be a squad, you know. Do you want me to throw a grenade or? Yeah, pop it over this bush. 
literally straight over the bottom. <laughs> Where did you die? How do we win this? I killed one, I killed one. Build stairs, build stairs. Oh, I found a chest. It'll be there. It'll be behind there, you know. Yeah, they are. Just hide, just hide. Just hide, just hide, just hide, just hide. Last RPG. That is how you win the game, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching this video. We just won our first, that's my first duo that we've won. First stop recording, how do we do that? RPG, that's what I mean, right? RPGs are the hardest thing to ever find. RPG bullets, you will find so easily. But if you find an RPG like that, pick it up instantly. Make sure to drop a like on this video if you did find it helpful or informative or in any way kind of entertaining. Drop a subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I didn't actually think we'd win that, you know.